So I got this kilowatt um, a while back. One of these things actually works pretty pretty dang good. Um, I don't know. This is the one of the cheaper models. It doesn't automatically calculate it for. But been loving it. Problem is I hooked it up to the generator the other day and I plugged in a circuit. It was drawing more amps and it's rated for. It's only rated for 15 amps. Shorted it out. Um, let's look. Let's pop those three screws out. Anyway, it was actually reading. Um, I think before I shorted out, it was reading 22 amps is what was what it was drawing. So I pulled it apart. There's a circuit board there. I pulled that out. There's nothing there except for the LCD screen. I was looking it over really good. And um, I couldn't see anything burnt on it. Nothing, you know, there was a fuse right here. I tested that with my own meter from both sides. It tested good. Um, did a little more research. I mean, I looked, I mean, I know these are just resistors. Those are diodes. You know, they only let electricity go through one way. So I tested those. Those look good. My little capacitor here, you can, usually can tell if those are bad, if the tops are bulging, if they, if they blew out. All that looked good. Everything looked fine. Couldn't figure it out. But then I started looking and tried to figure out what this thing is. Turns out, it's a thermal fuse. And you can see that I got it wired to short it. To jump it, having I mean, you open this up. So anyway, that's a thermal fuse, and reading its ratings online, and it actually says on the side. So 99, when that thing reaches 99 degrees Celsius, um, it shorts out. It, and it's a, uh, it's not like a circuit breaker; it's a fuse. So once it shorts out, it's dead. Um, anyway, so to test it, you know, I tested across there. There's no continuity, um, but I did wire several strap wraps of copper wire around there just and reassembled it just to see if it worked and you know sure enough works like new so went out and bought a new um this is what i bought and cost me a whopping dollar sixty it's a thermal cutoff they call it but on on the side it says thermal fuse they didn't have this one's rated at 99 degrees celsius the only difference is this one's rated at 100 degrees celsius so close enough that's the closest one I could find. I couldn't even find anything. There was 99 degrees Celsius anywhere online. But the local place had this, $1.60. Um, so I'm just going to unsolder that, put the new one on, and we should be good ready to go. Let's see if we can bend this the same way. Bend it. Let's leave it so you can read the stuff on it. Bend it straight down. Yeah, it's gonna be close. And I don't have one of those little solder suckers. They have these little sucker things that suck the solder out. So I'll just pull on it. At the same time, I'm heating it up. Ooh, nice and hot. Got one side desoldered. You want to get that too hot since it's a thermal fuse. Get that too hot and it'll just burn it right out. That's why I think they put it on such long leads. Here we go. Cool it off. Back together. 
So, let's plug it in. No pops, no bangs. 120.8 volts. No amps, no watts. Let's plug something into this. It's working. $1.60. Back in business. Another easy fix.